So here's a project I'm pretty proud of. My Rotary Club has an annual Blues and Barbecue Festival, which is a fundraiser, and we needed a stage. So we found this old flatbed trailer someone donated to us. We had to beat on the brakes a little bit to get it rolling, but eventually we got it on the road, we got it to roll, and brought it to my friend's shop. First thing we did was removed all the rotted wood decking, and then we took to cutting off all the screws that were left. That was a big job. Uh, there were a lot of screws there. It was more than we expected. Different people came at it with different tools, uh, angle grinders, sawzall, and uh, eventually it just took a lot of people. One thing that we did learn is you didn't have to get them flush. You could have them sticking up a little bit because that was actually going to hold the new decking in place. If you had a sharp top on it, uh, you could just pound the wood onto it. So we didn't go crazy with it. The next thing we did was we pressure washed it, and that got off most of the flaking paint, uh, years of mold, because this thing had been sitting in a field for, well, too many years. So uh, next thing you know, we had hit it with a couple of um, scrapers and some wire brushes here and there, but next thing you know, we were ready for paint. Uh, we wanted to paint it before we put the wood on so that the paint wouldn't get all over the wood. So um, we painted really everything that showed and things that were most likely to rot and rust. It was an all-hands-on-deck thing again, and uh, members of my Rotary Club uh, all came and worked on it. Uh, we saved a fortune in labor doing this ourselves, and the materials we used were mostly things that we had laying around or donated. So um, after we had it painted and uh, we welded some fence poles to the back of it because we were going to put a fence behind the musicians on the stage, uh, we got into decking. Started. We used regular uh, pressure-treated 2 by and... Uh, it fit really, really well. There was very little waste involved. And, um, yep, there was only about three-quarter inch. We had to cut off uh, one of the widths. I think it was one of the center boards. Um, but cut it all, laid it all in place, and then we started fastening it down. Now, the fastening, we started with... Uh, self-tapping screws going in from the top and trying to find the crossbars for it to go into and that was working okay it was pulling them down uh, but then we started working from underneath also with uh, screws with oversized washers as clips holding it in from underneath and between the top and the bottom we pretty well got it done uh, here's my wife detailing the rims because they uh, they looked a little bit out of place compared to how nicely the trailer had turned out. Here it is with the decking in place and the reflector tape put on, uh, the, the wheels painted. And here we are putting on some chain link fence to for the back rail to keep musicians from falling off the stage and meet the code for the fire department, safety inspectors and such. Um, put a top board on it and uh, a foot rail, um, painted the mud flaps, have them look a little bit trick, and then I even used a little bit of tire bright and uh, detailed the tires. So we we're pretty well ready to uh, bring it to the Blues and Barbecue Festival, and here we are delivering it. Put in place, those are the uh, steps that you have strapped down there. And here it is in place with the uh, tent over the top of it. Um, bands playing on it. Very happy with it, very happy with it. One thing that we have left to do is we're going to build a, a permanent roof on it. Uh, you gotta figure a way for it to collapse, but all in all, good job.